Pisces. So Virgo, welcome. This is going to be your update, spring update, April, May, June. I was, I was like, maybe I should do the elements. Maybe I should do like the energies, fixed, cardinal, mutable. And I said, nope, everybody deserves their own because the spring equinox brought about some endings and some new beginnings. So let's take a look. Okay. Repairing the veil forgiveness. This is deep. Stranger. Curiosity. I love this deck. I'm, I'm already like in so love. Magician sword. Confidence in your magic. Listen. Oh, at the bottom of the deck. You gonna make me read all four. A tidy house, clarity and organization, and you already know, Virgo, that's your shit. <laughs> it's rare that you meet a dirty Virgo, okay? You're tidying your house, metaphorically speaking, organizing, you're forgiving yourself, having confidence. In your truth and clarity, okay? I feel like you could even have been a stranger unto yourself. And there was a crack in the veil. Yeah, there was a repairing. Yeah, there was a crack in the veil uh, from any facade that you may have been keeping up. Oh my God, this is so deep. That's deep. <clears throat> That's deep. You got four, four from that deck. We, don't have, we might have to read all four. Because it's a new deck, so I don't know what it says. All right, let me shift the table. Sorry. Great gratitude. Counting your blessings. Oh, look, see the veil. You got, okay. It's a double-edged double -edged sword, okay? With this veil energy, all right? So I'm feeling like with the hidden motivations, stranger. You're checking the hidden motivations of yourself and others, okay? I'm going to read what it's saying, but I'm feeling that, definitely. You, like I said, you could have even been a stranger unto yourself. Increase. That's what's going to be brought about in June. Okay. This is what I'm saying. Yep. Tidy in house. You getting out of some stuck energy, Virgo. You getting out of some stuck energy. Okay. You cleaning the house. Peering beyond the veil. Huh? Discernment. You see what I'm saying? Any fog. Okay? Discernment. Just, just intuitively with that repairing the veil, I feel like someone may be trying to like pull the wool back over your eyes too. I mean, I don't know what the meaning is. We're going to look. We're going to look. We're going to see. That's too many. I just need to, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Resistance to realize who was that? Somebody else is just resisting it. I only wanted one more. Yeah, there's some blossoming. Definitely with the increase. Oh yeah, confidence in your magic. Confident, having confidence in yourself. The magician, sure. The truth and clarity. Your mind. That's the mind. Okay. Oh, yeah. Truth and clarity within your mind. What's at the bottom? Self-reflection. Okay. Okay, Virgo. 
Definitely some blossoming energy. Yep. Clarity. What the and then clarity. Okay. Organization. And I feel like, especially for you, Virgo, right? In order for you to be able to gain a level of discernment, like your your environment has to be clear and clean. Okay. Look at this. You're protected. Okay. While you change your career. And you're having gratitude. Look at this. Energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. Maybe that's what's sparking your curiosity. Into a new healing modality. Yeah, creative expression. Okay. It's at the bottom. <laughs> Yo, this card. Y'all see me shuffling. Like for all the signs it's crazy there's a healing okay so spring is bringing about some healing energy period spirit it says i'm a, you have the spiritual gift of healing and it's not desire to share it with others especially with this energy healing energy here so everybody is definitely working on healing themselves this spring and and then and then of course helping other people do the same oh and then you're virgo yeah you're you're also the sign of the nurse too. Yeah. Of service. And who doesn't serve more than a nurse? Nurse, I need ice. Nurse, my medicine. Nurse. <laughs> okay. This is why it says you're protected. Okay. Yeah, some neck. Yeah, death all. Oh. God, with the polar bear, you definitely protect it. And the writer, there's going to be some news coming in. You have a sense of duty. Okay, I feel like with this, with the cross. That's also like divine counterpart energy too. And it's like there could be some obstacles with a divine partnership. Possibly. Okay. And then we're going to tap in to each month. Oh, oh. Okay. Yep. Yep. You got the Ace of Swords. Page of Swords. All in them. Okay. The re for me, Virgo, like y'all to me, y'all are the honorary air sign. <laughs> like real talk. Your your expression of earth energy is air. Your your air, you're like wind kicked up in the sand. Yeah, it's a lot of burdens. Cross the cross the bear. Ten the ten of fire came out. Night of fire, passionate. Yeah, your passions is ignited. Ew. Bottom of the deck. Your passions is what's gonna drive you. Your will. Okay. Your you gonna what do you want to will into existence? Key. All right. Let's look at some love. Oh. <gasps> Okay, Virgo. So, what I'm seeing off the back, April is going to be of an energy of, this is what I'm saying. I was saying somebody, I feel like somebody may attempt to pull the wool back over your eyes. You have the page of air. I'm feeling like it says challenging information. You, um, yep. You're going to have to surrender. There is going to be, this is going to spark off an initiation for you. Okay. And it, oh my God. Yeah. Especially when it comes to a relationship. Especially when it comes to a relationship. Wow. Okay. So, Virgo, be prepared. Okay. If you're in a committed relationship or seeing someone, um, 
there's going to be some information coming out. But let's start off. Let's start off with April. Let's start from the beginning. All right. Repairing the veil. 45. Forgiveness, making amends, recognition of our unity. Between us all is a thin veil appearing to be a space that separates us. We look through this veil and believe ourselves to be distinct from each other. We assume that our thoughts and feelings are our own. We see bodies and objects and the spaces between them. So we engage the world in relationships between a duality of us and them. This veil serves as a mysterious illusion, making it so hard to believe in our inherent connection and unity. We can't always remember that we, what we do to someone else, we at the same time do to ourselves. When we claw at the veil out of fear, anger, jealousy, or resentment, manipulate another, misuse our power, or allow someone's actions to diminish us, we create a wound felt by many, not just those of us in the smaller direct relationship. This is... Now is the time to examine where your actions have caused difficulty or harm to someone else and also where you have been the recipient of harm. Regardless of what side you are on, it's important to take responsibility for healing this rift by bringing love, compassion, deep listening, and presence to whatever is not in harmony. Do this for you and not and for your own liberty as you become an unwitting hostage once you take the role of perpetrator or victim. Both positions of weakness. You hear that? Let go of all your resentments. Know your part in the dynamic and make the appropriate amends. With that newfound wisdom and understanding. Healing, forgiveness, and mending what is broken in your world is a sweet, much-needed declaration of freedom. And this is why you, it's like you're, you're being humbled, Virgo, honestly, all right? And you're, and you're appreciating what you have. You're appreciating the people in your life, okay? Maybe you didn't appreciate certain people in the past. Who knows? Maybe you didn't appreciate a partner. Okay. You know your situation or you weren't being appreciated. Right. Again, it says, you know, your position, vice versa. Either way, victim and perpetrator is, is one in the same. Right. The, the realm of duality is saying is the realm of duality. It's one in the same. Okay. Yeah, that's the level of discernment. That's the mental fog you're coming out of is spring, okay? And know that you're protected, right? So no victim mentality in April. You can't have that because there is going to be some challenging, there's going to be some challenging information that's going to come to the fore. You're going to learn something, all right? And it's going to make you, um, again, dive deep. It's going to make you go into... Like maybe the dark night of the soul energy is going to make you look at yourself in another perspective, look at things from another perspective. It's a spiritual initiation for you, period. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you're realizing where you've self-sabotaged yourself. Okay. And you're like, oh, this person stabbed me in the back. But I feel like you're letting that go and you're like, okay, but I laid there and took it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you're protected. You're protected. Know that. Especially if you're really honest and truthful with yourself. Yeah, so this... Let's see what it says, but I feel like this rings true, okay? Curiosity, stranger. Like I said, I said maybe even you feel yourself as a stranger and you're looking at yourself from a new perspective. So May, the other, moving past fear of differences, curiosity and acceptance. The stranger moves through the world in a shroud of darkness that often elicits fear, rejection, and uncertainty as the danger of the unknown defines its very presence. 
Yes, there is a veil of separation between you. Look closer and summon the courage to remain open to what you may find. You may be conditioned to look only for what mirrors what is safe and known to you. Refusing to entertain any concept of other beyond something to fear. In order to broaden your world and your experience of it, you must refute the illusion that sameness is the only way. Nothing you expect externally matches up with the other and you're challenged by your own inexperience. But don't miss this opportunity for learning. Something extraordinary is being offered to you now if you remain curious and teachable. Allow the newness to envelop you as you explore the possibilities. This is a departure from your expectations. But the stranger has come to invite you to dance to a new music. A new tempo, a new sensation that will add more dimension to you and what you create as a result. Now is the time to leave room for other view, uh, other points of view. Hangman, okay? Other ways of seeing with humility and grace and gratitude. This is a defining moment. Take the risk. Life is like a precious diamond with many facets, not just one. Not just one. Yeah, because... Okay, so I'm seeing with this hidden motivation, there could be an energy that could be coming towards you, could be feminine, all right? If you're masculine, you already know, right? And you're like, who is this person? <laughs> who is this? What do they have? You know what I'm saying? You could be on a defensive. And this person may... Be innocent and you have your resistance to change, your resistance to the new. You're not open. How? Okay, you're not open to, to what the universe is trying to bless you with. That's what I'm feeling like. What is your why's? Why do you, are you so distrustful? Okay, it's going to propel you to grow. It's going to prepare you to do energy healing. You definitely in need of that. Okay. Yeah, I feel like too with the polar bear, you may have been too icy. <laughs> you may have been too icy, okay? And keep and protecting yourself from energy that is meant to come into your life. It said it's a pivotal moment and May is going to be a pivotal moment for a lot of people, especially gearing up for the that, that retrograde. That's at the end of May, okay? Standing your truth, brilliant new ideas, inspiration, seeing the truth of a seeing the truth of a situation. Okay, a challenging beginning, but it's still a beginning nonetheless. Most beginnings are challenging. Most new see this is what it is. You're being broken out of your comfort zone to speak your truth. I feel like, um, and then you have the Five of Swords right in your love sector. Five of Swords energy. I'm feeling like this is why you've been protecting yourself because you help, you have an ability to heal. So you help other people's heal. You took them swords out of their back. You've helped people and then they, they just, they just go along their way and then you wind up hurting yourself. Okay. Next negative self thoughts, negative self talk, talk. Okay. How do you talk about yourself? How you feel about yourself? How do you think about yourself? Okay, reopening those wounds. All right, with this challenging information that could be coming in. Right? Again, it's not a victim mentality. You're learning now that, all right, now I'm hurting myself. All right? By, uh, and now I'm keeping opportunities away from me. So, in June. We got the magician sword. It's gearing it up. It's, it's, just, it's just a truth. Epiphany. You know, these new ideas. Confidence in your magic. Nothing can stop you. The beauty you seek. When the magician sword appears, you are called to cut the cords that bind you to old thought forms and beliefs. Or to friends who are not true. With the power of the magician's sword, nothing can stop you, hurt you, or see yeah, because you are 
Remember, you're protected. Okay? So nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop your blessings from coming in. Hurt you or turn you away from the beauty you seek or the goal you desire with all your heart. The sword is a tool, not a weapon. So make sure you wield it wisely and for the greater good. Find the stuck places where you are kept tethered to a toxic person, a particular location, or a faulty thought or belief, and let the blade do its magic. You have a large endowment of magic available to you when you believe in miracles, but don't look to the heavens to grant you a wish. Look within. You're the hermit. Come on now. You already know you got to go within. Use the magician's sword to cut through limiting beliefs and remember that all beliefs are limiting and focus your intention in order to create what you wish. You have all the tools you need for the task at hand. You need only muster the wherewithal, the desire, the will, the determination, okay? To deploy the resources you have. When the magician's sword appears, it is time to get moving. This is not a tool for contemplation, for gazing at the finely polished edge. It is an instrument calling for decisive action. And remember, the sword is alive with a wisdom you can summon to help you find the best course of action. Do not hesitate. Act, especially with that night of fire. Swift. Make it, and then underneath that is the king of air. So it's making swift cuts okay of people that have hidden motivations um people snake listen listen it said friends that are not true so june you're going to be making this it, it, these actions swiftly <laughs> swiftly no more con because you have been contemplating all this time from april you're going to be contemplating once this information is revealed to you you're going to be contemplating And you're going to go through the, the denial or the resistant stage in May. June, you're, going to, you're, you're confident enough to be like, no, you know what? And then once you make that once you make that cut, it brings in an increase, okay? I feel like an increase in money, an increase in opportunities. Opportunities are going to start lining up for you. Yup, yup, yup. Things are going to start blossoming. You're going to see the fruits of your labor, Okay. You're gonna change your mind. You're gonna change you you you're really gonna change your mind. You're gonna be expressing yourself. That's what I'm saying. Then you got the writer here with the night of fire. You're gonna be telling people what it is, you're gonna be going towards what you could even be traveling. You know what I mean? Yep, I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna take some work. But it's an ending. Remember, this is the, the one and the zero is the binary code, right? The one and the zero is the binary code, the different combinations. The link from the completion of the nine into a new beginning. So you're going to be letting, uh, you're going to be letting that go. You're going to be letting go of some burdens, stress, Okay. Health related, I'm seeing also like high blood pressure possibly, okay? You're going to be accepting help from other people too. I feel like you're going um, to definitely be tapping into your gifts. With this, this can also be, especially in your love sector, this can be an apology. Whether it's from you or someone to you. In June, there could definitely be some like, I'm sorry, Yeah, especially if someone has been egotistical with you or you were explain, displaying that, being egotistical, okay? Coming out of stuck energy. That's right, you had stuck energy at the bottom of the deck. And what did I say about duty with the cross? You know, yeah, everybody has that cross there, but now I think you're putting it down for something else. Your percept, yo, what, yo, that's crazy. That's the hangman energy. Your point of view and also vision because you have a clear vision now. You didn't have a clear vision for a minute. 
You're going to get some clear vision and you're going to, I think you're going to see the people around you, the environment that you've been in. Yeah. Look, attraction. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing somebody coming in. Yep. And you're not a, a stranger. Yeah. Lurking, either you doing that. Okay, the ancestors have definitely been coming out too. That you're being divinely guided. Okay. I think you're it for the night, Virgo. I'll do Libra. Do Pisces. Yep, third party. Yep, you may find out your partner could have a third party or you've been having that. Having a third party. Yep, up, oh, change. Somebody moving. What did I say about traveling? With that night there too. Because you're not happy. Wow, this is coming. And in June, I feel like people are going to be celebrating. Yeah, because you've been exhausted. Especially if you up, especially if you moving, you already know how that, how that, that's, ooh. And then we have forgiveness again. S repentance, restoring faith, self-forgiveness, okay? Yeah, Virgo. Mm. I feel like you've been like on some coaching type energy because ain't no sheet on that bed. You tie it. Of your living situation, right? Not happy in your current situation. That's what spring is bringing about. Like, it's making people more uncomfortable, so that way they could go towards what they want for summer, for the summer. You know what I'm saying? Yep, work definitely coming up. These new ideas. What did I say about you being too icy? This is definitely going to bring about some growth. That's why I said it's a spiritual initiation. You're going to mature. Are you bringing in this mature man? Definitely with that hangman, that's the initiation. Spiritual growth. Oh, freedom. What I say about your apple? Bad. Yep. You may even just be getting in your car. Either catch it in a flight if you can. And if not, you like, I'm jumping in the car. And you're just going to drive it. Hit, hit the road. You know what I'm saying? So, Virgo, I hope this was of some health. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. You know, know that you're not a victim. Know that you're protected. Clarity is coming. Make those swift cuts in June and you'll be good. And with that, I'm going to see you on the check-in. Peace.